next adventure on the homestead we are going to be installing vinyl flooring in the shed we have a stick and peel vinyl flooring looks like wood plank I've got one box open and another plank laid down to see what it looks like the shed is eight foot by eight foot so it requires 64 square feet of vinyl flooring this box will do 36 square feet so I need two boxes pretty simple just wanted to bring you along and show you how easy this is to do let's get her set up and get her started so I got the one box open here got the first piece laid down it's pretty easy just take one of these sheets make sure the arrows are always going in the same direction whichever direction you choose stay with that direction And it is as simple as peeling off the back, exposing the sticky side, which is really sticky, lining it up with this other plank, and pressing it down. You want to make sure your floor is really good and clean before you start. It's very important. So now we come up to a point where we don't have a full plank, so we're going to have to cut one. Grab the next one out of the box. And our direction is all going left. So that means we want this piece to line up with there. So we're actually going to flip it upside down to mark it. And when we flip it over, that piece will be going in the right direction. You can measure it with a tape measure. This is a shed, so this job doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm just going to mark it here. Then what we'll do is take our, if you have an edge, makes it a lot easier. Square off the edge with your marking. Take your utility knife, score it. it there you have your piece so our arrows again are pointing that way this piece is going to fit right in here so we'll just peel off the backing line up our joint here press that piece right in Now, we don't want our seams to line up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a full plank back started on this side, and then our cut is gonna be on that side. So this time we're gonna start our plank back here so that our seam joints don't line up. It is as easy as that. get any easier than that. Arrows to the left, turn it upside down, mark your piece. And score it a couple times. Test fit, make sure it fits before we peel off the 
sticky. Arrows are to the left, so our grain pattern all stays the same. We got two rows done in no time at all. Keep on going. Our seam is over there, so we want to start this next full plank over there. So that our seams are never lining up, we want to stagger the seams. Peel that off. Slide it in. Press it down. Next piece. Doesn't require to be cut because we can get two pieces without a cut. So I'm going to put this one right down. No cutting. Pointed to the left. Very simple. Make sure the seam is down good. Slide these other ones in. Press it down. One more cut for this far end. Our arrows to the left. So to cut it, we're going to flip it over upside down. Make our mark. Use our edge to score it. Break it. Test fit it. Arrows are going to the left. Good fit. Peel it. Make sure this edge is lined up good. Back edge. Press it down. Looking pretty good. We got three rows in so far. Next piece. Arrows to the left. Our seam is here, so we want the full piece to go here. Peel it off. Slide it in. Press it down. Make sure on the edges you leave yourself like an eighth of an inch space just for expansion, movement. The left, peel it out. You want to kind of go on this, this end first, get that joint lined up, and then kind of want to go on an angle so it doesn't stick all at once, and then press it down. Cut over that way. Same thing again. Score it a couple times. Snap it. Some other pieces don't snap as easy, but they do snap. Test fit it. Works. Arrows are to the left. Get this edge in on an angle this way. And mash the rest down. Alright, it's as simple as that. Check back with you in a little bit when we get it all in. So we've gotten to the end here and we have a strip that the, needs to be cut. So what we're going to do is we are going to, this piece is going to go here. We want this edge to go up against here. So what we do is we turn it upside down again and we mark how much we want cut off of this one the long way. So we're going to mark it here and we're going to mark it here to make sure that it's straight in case the, it's not built straight. And we are going to Get our long ruler and we're going to score it all the way down. Okay. This on the long way. Like 
They have a smaller score line. They don't pop as easy. going to the back of the shed and we go through the same process. Peel it off. And we want to make sure our joint line is this way and push it in place. And then we're going to do the same thing with the next two pieces. So the very end piece is going to be two cuts, one long way, and then one little short end way. So then we mark our lines, we want to flip it. I'm left-handed, so I'm kind of doing this cross-handed. The camera's over there, so I can't really flip this around. I'll take my time this time. You know our southpaws, we can never do anything the right way. Make sure all the pieces come off. Sometimes you have a little straggly hanger you want to get rid of. So we want to get this edge first, and then we want to pull it into this edge here, and then mash it down. All right, now down to our last piece. I'm hoping the lighting's okay in here. It's kind of dark in here. I don't have any power up here, so I'll have to use. Uh, Nice little fluorescent jobbies that are rechargeable. It works pretty good. All right, our arrows are going to the back of the shed. So this piece really wants to line up here. So first we're going to cut. We're going to cut the short, this long part, so we don't have to cut the whole entire thing. So here. We get our square. Or it. Break it. Arrows are going that way. And that will fit when we get ready to. So now we want to flip it this way so we can cut this edge. There we go. That's a smaller piece to cut.
Yeah, I'm doing this backwards. Cross the other way. I'd probably be just on the other side of me, but we'll be here. Pop it. Yeah, I ended up taking my shoes off. I'm getting too much mud from my the shoes I had on because it rained this morning and this Tennessee clay is everywhere. Especially when it gets muddy. Can't keep anything clean. Pop it. Alright, arrows pointing to the back. Test fit. Fits good. Make sure there's nothing in there. Make sure it's all clean. Get all this off. Line up this joint first. And then we want to get into this one and then push it down. And our floor is done. Stand back and take a look at it. A little bit messy, got a little bit clean up. Had to move things around. But for an hour project, 98 cents a square foot from Home Depot. Can clean it. Looks pretty good. There you have it. Vinyl flooring, peel and stick. Easy. And here we go. The final flooring in the B shed. Nope, it's not a she shed. Mm -hmm.